Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to create dynamic data validation lists that extend when we add new items to our source range. So what I mean by that is in this cell here, we have this data validation list with some items here. These are from our products column over here in this sheet. And as we add new items to the bottom of this list, we want those to be automatically included in our data validation list here. And for this, we're going to use Excel tables and named ranges. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to our source range, which is this products sheet, and we're going to insert a table. So we'll go to the insert tab on the ribbon, choose table, keyboard shortcut is control T. That'll bring up this prompt here. Uh, just make sure your my table has headers checkboxes checked and click OK. That will insert our table. We can see our table name right here as well, and we can also change that. I also have a whole nother video on getting started with Excel tables. So if you're not using Excel tables yet, I highly recommend checking that out. So the next step will be to insert our named range uh, for this products column. So to do that, we're going to go to the formulas tab on the ribbon here. We can either click the define name button right there, it's a little shortcut, or we can jump into the name manager. This is the name manager here that lists all of our named ranges. And then we can click the new button right here, and that will allow us to define this named range. So it's already uh, named it products for us. You can change that if you want. I like to prefix mine with RNG, so RNG products, that just makes them easier to find in formulas. And then for the refers to down here, uh, we just want the body of that range or of that column. So we're gonna go ahead and click this button right here. We'll select A2 right here and then use control shift down arrow on the keyboard to select just the products column. We can see that reference has been created right here, uh, table three, and then the product or the column name in brackets there. So that looks good. We'll click this box and then we'll click OK to create our named range. Now we can also see it again here in the name manager. We have our named range right here and where it refers to, which is table three and the products column. So everything looks good there. We'll go ahead and close this window. And now we just need to go over to our uh, data validation list. So we'll select this cell here, contains our data validation list. We'll go to the data tab on the ribbon. Uh, go to the data validation button here. And within our settings tab here for our source, we're going to reference that named range instead. So we can just clear everything out here. We can select that, uh, delete all of that, and we can type our named range here. Or one little keyboard shortcut is if we hit F3 on the keyboard, that'll bring up this paste name window. We can see our list of named ranges. We'll just go ahead and select that one and click OK. And that will add the reference right here. You can see it has an equal sign in front of it. Now we also wanna make sure we are apply this change to all the other cells that contain the same data validation. So we'll do that, select all those cells, and then hit OK. And that will make those changes and now use that named range as the source. And again, that means we can go add items to our products list. So we'll just go down to the bottom here. Uh, maybe we wanna put some new items at the bottom. We'll say football, golf ball, uh, and let's do soccer ball, something like that. Have a few items, new items added. When we go back over to our inventory sheet and click our drop down. We can see at the bottom of our list, we have all of our new items here automatically included because that named range references that entire table column. So this table column over here, uh, we're referencing it with the column name, which is the products column. If we go up to the top here, we have the products column, that named range references that entire column, regardless of how many rows we have in there. So we add new rows or even delete rows from this table those rows will automatically be included in that column, uh, which is referenced by that name range, which is used in our data validation list. So what that really means is we no longer have to go into this window here and update the range. It's always going to refer to that named range there. There are other ways to go about this using dynamic named ranges. If you're not using Excel tables uh, with that, you can just define a formula in the named range that will uh, try and figure out exactly how many rows are used in the sheet. However, that's much more complex and not really necessary when we use Excel tables uh, for the source of our data validation list. So I hope that helps save you some time when maintaining your data validation list. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below.
If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.